Hello everyone, now let us discuss about perforated basket centrifuge. Now coming to the arrangement of perforated basket centrifuge. In this centrifuge, a basket is mounted above the driving shaft and such an arrangement is described as underdriven. Conversely, if the basket is suspended from the shaft, it is described as overdriven and these perforated basket centrifuges are used for batch processes. Coming to the principle. The perforated basket or bowel centrifuge is a filtration centrifuge. The separation is through a perforated wall based on the difference in the densities of solid and liquid phases. And the bowel contains the perforated wall. During the centrifugation, the liquid phase passes through the perforated wall while the solid phase is retained in the bowl. And the solid phase is removed after cutting the sediment by a blade after stopping the centrifuge. This is the basic principle of perforated basket centrifuge. This is a filtration centrifuge. Coming to the construction, it consists of basket made of steel, sometimes covered with vulcanite or lead, or copper or monal or any other suitable metal. The basket material of construction should be such that it offers the greatest resistance to the corrosion. And the basket may have diameter in the range of 0 0.90 meters and the capacity of 0.085 meter cube and the diameter of the perforation should be selected based upon the size of the crystals to be separated. In case the size of perforations is bigger than the particles, a filter cloth is employed. Whenever the size of perforations is bigger than the particles, a filter cloth is employed here. Here you can see the schematic representation. The schematic representation. This is the filter cloth, and this is an interlocking switch. This is the cover, and this one is the basket with the perforations. Perforated basket centrifuge. This dark black one is the filter cloth. Next to the immediate, uh, it is attached to the wall. This is the liquid outlet. Now, continuation of the construction. The basket is suspended on a vertical shaft and is driven by a motor using suitable power systems such as belt pulley, water turbines and electrical motors. The motor is driven by a suitable power system such as belt pulley, water turbines and electric motors. The basket may require about 5 kilowatt power for starting and 2 kilowatt power for running. Sometimes steel hoops are used externally to strengthen the basket. Surrounding the basket, a casing is provided which collects the filtrate and discharges it at, at the outlet. Coming to the working of perforated basket centrifuge, the material is kept in the basket when the basket is stationary and the amount of material should be optimum. Otherwise, during centrifugation, it puts a great strain on the basket. The power is applied to rotate the basket and maximum speed must be attained quickly. And the basket runs at 1000 revolutions per minute. RPM is 1000 revolutions per minute. The power required for running is small compared to power required for starting and bringing it to full speed. And during the centrifugation, the liquid passes through the perforated wall while the solid phase retains in the basket and the liquid leaves the basket and is collected at the outlet. Sometimes higher speeds are used so that cake will be completely dry. And after a definite period of time, the power is turned off. By applying a brake, the centrifuge is stopped and the basket is brought to rest. The solid cake is cut using a blade and then reloaded manually. This is the working of perforated basket centrifuge. Coming to the uses. It is used for crystalline separating the crystalline drugs such as aspirin from the mother liquor. Free flowing product can be obtained because mother liquor is removed completely. It is also used for removing unwanted solids from a liquid. For example, precipitated proteins are removed from insulin. And sugar crystals are separated using perforated bas basket centrifuges. The sugar crystals are separated using the perforated basket centrifuge. Coming to the advantages, 
The centrifuge is very compact and it occupies very little floor space. It can handle slurries with high proportion of solids and even those having paste-like consistency. This is a great advantage. The final product has low moisture content and in this method, the dissolved solids are separated from the cake. One more advantage is the process is rapid. Coming to the disadvantages, the entire cycle is complicated, resulting in considerable labor cost. It is a batch process. And if the machine is adapted for prolonged operations, there is considerable wear and tear of the equipment. On prolonged operations, the solid may form hard cake due to the centrifugal force, which is difficult to remove simultaneously. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for further videos on pharmaceutics and other related pharmaceutical sciences.